you know, John was denied his potential revenge, but we're going to see if Veets is going to be denied that same opportunity as we get in here. Grand Finals, just as a reminder, guys, we are still best of three here at Xeno. Oh, I love that gun, that gun dash. Nobody, nobody uses guns like Veets, and it makes me sad, but it also makes me happy to see Veets performing so well here and having his unique game plan come to fruition. Taking them so far as Grand's here at Xeno. Nothing to scoff at. Now, this is such an interesting matchup to me because I feel both of these characters, like most of their like core neutral plan is pokes. You know, beats obviously with the guns and the ehas and Dill with the lasers and gyros. That's but... so weird to call a gun a poke because guns don't really poke, do they? They shred. <laughs> oh, they, they poke all right. <laughs> they, they do be poking. They poke real hard. All right, we're seeing this. Instead of going for these edge guards, we're just trying to go for the guns, get some damage. Maybe a little cheeky edge guard, but enough to just uh, continue building that meter right there. Yeah, we've seen what Beats can get out of edge guarding, but Dill is just going to be a little bit harder because you know she has the flexibility thanks to the Robo Burner, and we've seen that she's no stranger to taking the high road recovery. But instead, it's going to be Beats finding that first stock from center stage, nonetheless. Now I'm a little surprised that a robot has more flexibility than a Wii Fit trainer. You but know, yet, here we are. Super Smash Brothers, everybody. I mean, when you don't have a pesky thing like, you know, a nervous system, you can just kind of twist you can, and contort. Yeah, <laughs> you, you've seen, like... The Rob like, made yes, of bendy Wii, straws confirmed. Wii Fit trainer is flexible, but she can't, like, spin her entire torso a hundred... Yeah, she, she's got to work on that yoga. She's got yeah. the cardio down, but the yoga's not quite there yet. We're not at Dalsim level. She, she has to completely just get rid of her spot. That was some odd DI. Like, Beats very surprised at losing that stock. Just kind of cocking their head like a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you just get crossed up by Rob up air. And I want to say I love the way that Beats is using Rebel's Guard. He, he is not respecting your fake pressure. You know? Why would you ever two, respect it? It's two fake. down tilts. We saw in the set against John Numbers, he did not take take two up tilts lying down. All and right. when you're able to get those resources back online, that's just playing to your win condition. Now we are starting to see a little bit of familiar game plan here, and we're going to see if Dill's starting to catch on to this. Whenever, so Feats has been getting this Rebel's Guard very easily, trying to get this Rebel's Guard, trying to get that uh, bar up with those guns at ledge when they don't have Arsene. But once they have Arsene, they're going low every single time with the guns. A good idea, but if you get a little too predictable with it, I think Dill's gonna start catching on. Mm -hmm. and also, on the subject of Dill catching on, you know, we've seen Dill stalling underneath the stage whenever Beats has our Sen online. So it's you the best talk, play. Yeah, you, I mean, you wanna talk about playing to your win condition. Sometimes your win condition is just making sure that your opponent doesn't get their win condition. Yeah, I think more people should take a page out of Muhammad Ali. You can't, you can't kill what you can't touch. It's true. Dill right now is putting the hands on Beats with that up air already. Look at that. You call these hands? Those are murder machines. They are. These, they do not abide by the three laws of robotics. Yeah, as the mob's spinning in his grave right now. I'm glad he's not alive to see what's become of his Rob. <laughs> as the mob's community guidelines. Yeah, well, you know, Rob has never been anyone's buddy, really. It's in his name. Yeah, just because it's in his name doesn't mean it's actually true. Rare medals aren't rare. You know, the Easter Bunny isn't real. <laughs> All right. Regardless, though, we're going to see if this game one is going to be a fairy tale for Beats, as he is now at 107%. That Rebel's Guard is huge. Oh my gosh, a good roll. Beats are not to roll in. Has been Beats' mistake a couple times. And, and yeah, just like that, Dill going down to the underside of the stage, wasting out just that little bit of uh, of Rebel's meter. And you can see, I think she was even starting to threaten like the, the jump up with a hitbox, because if she starts stalling off stage, she can start mixing up her timing. Yeah, not much more gas, though. This is Beats' opportunity. Ah, doesn't get it, but are we going to get a drag down? Ooh, Billy's going for it. It is safe from the bottom of that platform. Yeah, unfortunately, Mr. Arsene, just a little bit impatient, you know, he's like, if, if I'm no. not going to... If the, they're not going to fight, then I'm just leaving. And Beats, 
He's leaving that first game on the table. I think a good idea to stall with the Rebels guard, but from not from that far off stage. So as we saw here, he gets hit by both. He stalls with Rebels guard, and he doesn't have a jump. He could have made it back with the jump. I know, I know. I'm sad too, Force. I'm sad too. But uh, you know what? It's okay. Don't get so choked up. We still have another game. Wrong type. Just, just uh, getting a little teary eyed over here. We want Vitz to win so bad. I believe it would be his first uh, Zeno victory. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Yes. I'm Vitz has always come so far. Vitz has won mm. bombs before, but not a Zeno. It's, it's a mini Zeno. But uh, nothing, you know, there's bombs, bombs, bombs right? Zeno bombs? Zeno. That's right. <laughs> they, are, they are, in fact, two, two different events. That's right. Zeno. Different days, even. Whoa, no way. And we're going to PS2. Haven't seen a lot of PS2 in this top six so far. I'm surprised, but pleasantly. I'm actually definitely a little bit surprised because I feel like this, <clears throat> this stage is typically pretty good for Rob. <clears throat> Just having the more space to get that, that poke game plan. But oh my Beats gosh! It's not giving Dill any space right now. It's so hard that like you get that red flash and you're like, that's a kill. But Rob just always has a little more gas in the tank. Sometimes, sometimes they're running on fumes and they still come back. Just like my friend's car, always on fumes and somehow we <laughs> still get back to his house. I saw that man run a hundred miles on those fumes and still make it. I don't think that car's alive anymore. Just like Vitz is trying to make uh, Rob scrap metal here. Yep, still holding on to the first stock, even at 125%. And Dill just running to the other side of the stage doesn't want to doesn't want to deal with Arsene. Yeah, and sometimes running away is the best idea. It doesn't mean you're a coward. It just means you want to waste their rebel guard. And this is what makes me wonder, like, what was the thought process behind the, the PS2 pick? I think it's because it is a much longer, it is a longer stage than small battlefield, and you have these two platforms more in the center of it, so you don't have these opportunities where a Joker can extend their combos uh, at the ledge. Instead, they have to go for these very base, more basic uh, ledge traps. Great tech! Oh my gosh, good tech there. <clears throat> Uh, throw is going to be uh, starting to be on the table for Dill, but instead up air is all it takes. Marvita's right, the keep their con Oh, managed to get the gyro with the tether, but this is looking pretty grim. Oh, and once again, beats with the patience to hold on to that tether, not get caught. All right, Arsene is back. All right, another gyro. That other one just still trying to poke Beats out, get rid of this uh, Rebel's Guard, or Rebel Meter, but the Aegon will be evening things up. All right, Beats is going to try and use all of this Arsene, Aegon. try and even <laughs> the percents, and Dill is just very happy to yeah, stall. Honestly, same. Just so much gas left. A, a wise man once said, if shit sucks, hit the bricks. You can just leave. You can just leave. Arsene? Chiro? Steve? <laughs> you can stop any time and play Street Fighter. All right, and just like that, Arsene is gone for Beats' second stop. But Beats does have the uh, very slight percent lead. I see if that can convert. They're very aware of the gyro and its positioning, making sure that they don't get caught up in the middle, which la lost them the last set against Dill. And we're seeing some pressure here. Nothing so far. I just want to point out the spacing of Dill, just spacing right outside that landing forward air. She's not giving Beats an inch right now. Well, but can he really outrun a gun? Well, apparently you can back air it. Beats on their possible last tournament stock. Still on loser size needs to win two games in a row to even stand a chance. I mean, before we even think about game three, Beats has got to worry about stock two here. A man can dream, but Beats just needs to close this out. This offstage play so tricky no. from oh. Dill. She's going to be able to make it back. Did keep the jump, but even if she survived that back air, no gas left in the tank. It was not looking good. Yeah, okay, but Arsene oh. is here to play. Oh, the late nair. That was almost so scary for Beats. Oh, a double jump? Okay. My gosh, Dill virtually untouched. 
literally Makar. untouched. Very interesting beats. Makar climbs the gyro, but then just kind of ignores it. Some really good coverage of the air with Aegon, but unfortunately, Arsene is gone. I don't believe that Dill's going to give him an opportunity to get more Rebels Guard. Ooh. Uh, no way, no way. Roll, but no! It. Reads a second roll, but V's still alive. They're still yes, alive, alive, we believe. But Reads not until that up smash. Roll. Ah, those panic rolls got him every time. First set, second set, and now here in Grand Finals. Gosh, what a play. If we could see those last like 20 seconds yeah, again, still, these rolls were something to behold. So emphatically denying Beats yeah, the Beats opportunity at a, revenge. Yeah, doing a great job of holding on to that jump, and, one and they're rolling roll back for in. Good measure. Ah, nothing you could have done. Just saw excellent play after excellent play. Beats just jumping over these lasers, the gyros. But, you know, this is the reason why you do want a stage like PS2 for Rob. If you're able to hold on to stage control, you can shark these platforms and get those up airs Absolutely. pretty much free. Yeah, I mean, that's why I was saying, like, why is this Beats' counter pick? Well, Beats' counter pick, I mean, he, you know, again, longer stage, you can kind of back away from the gyro, but, you know, this doesn't really help with a killing machine like Dill. Yeah, I mean, you can back away from the gyro, but the, the entire issue of this whole set was still taking space backwards, just making sure that Beats was not able to get in at all. Yeah, just that panic roll gets popped up into the fire, and there was Xeno154. Hello? Hello. B15. Sorry, 115. My apologies. Like I, was, I was thinking of uh, Waypoint yesterday. My two apologies. Two or three years ago? <laughs> 315. Going, we're going, going back, back in time. time. To another world. When a thousand years mine. ago in the future. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, welcome so, back. Do you want to say words? Okay. Yes, of course. All right. Uh, I'm sure you have a lot to say about things right now with the state of Smash. I got second like eight times, and I just wanted to win again. And you did with a plum. Yeah, that's a cool. Did it really count? I oh, think it counts. Like, you okay, didn't kill you through need John. To, you need to stop. Anyway. <laughs> like, John, John lost. John lost in bracket. It's okay. It counts. Come to Zeno. We miss you. <laughs> we miss all of you. If you don't show up, I will miss you. If you show up, I'll tell you to come back. I'll tell you every single time. If you're not watching, you better be here. If you don't live in New York, you better move to New York. But you know what? And watching, sharing the stream, subscribing is the second best thing you can do. And on coming to Zeno, that is a great segue, guys, because if you have been paying attention at all to Smash or Nintendo sort of news lately, it's been a little scary out here lately. It's it's looking a little too community guidelinesy for our tastes. Now, I will but say Japan has gotten those licenses within a day. We don't know how the U.S. is going to be. That's going to be the big thing. We're going to see how the licensing process is. But with I, the track record that Nintendo has, we do have concern to be had. And we oh need yeah. to pressure them for better guidelines and full transparency on what the pricing is, how long those last, and exactly to support the scene as is instead of killing off these smaller regionals, smaller tournaments, and encouraging big, big venues to continue holding on Genesis, Collision, and all those fun events that you enjoy. But regardless of the doom and gloom surrounding these events, the bottom line is that if there are people who want to gather and play Smash Brothers, then there will be places to gather Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. And, and, and remember, like, uh, Unlicensed events are still fine, right? It's yeah. like there's like the the guidelines for locals like are are fine. They don't need to know we serve water. <laughs> That's right. We don't we serve don't water. The venue it. does. It's like it's different. Anyway. Uh, but to that end, guys, what matters most is you guys supporting your local scenes. Go out to your locals, or if you want to support our local scene, you can support the wonderful talents at House of Three Thousand. I know you guys have seen on stream tonight. Just the, the little details in the overlay, in things like the Blast Zone, the Quad Stream, the YouTube, which has all of the individual recordings that you can go subscribe to. And if you want to... The, go the other thing, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll add on to the other thing. So it's like, you know, a lot of the, the other part of our business as House of 3000 is that, like, we do the production for a lot of big majors. So, like, you know, fingers crossed that all the stuff that we have lined up for 2024 are able to get licenses unimpeded. Not right? Wood. 
And Please. so, you know, one of the things is that, like, if you want to support us in, in, a, in an effort to, like, kind of double down to make sure that we're good, is definitely, like, you know, supporting the local, supporting the Twitch, supporting the, the YouTube. Um, yeah, because, you know, in, in a terrible event that, the, you know, one of the big events don't get uh, a license and they have to cancel, right? You know, not only does that put that TO at an extreme, like, financial challenge, but it is also like a loss of a gig for us, mm -hmm. and we lose out on you know uh, on work, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so. But if you know, if you're not someone who runs a big tournament and you want to support, you can of course follow and subscribe to House of Three Thousand on Twitch. And if you have one of those Amazon Primes laying around, it is free. Of course, also you can follow House of Three Thousand on Blue Sky. You can hum it come hang out on our Discord. You can follow uh, Devin3000 on Twitter for all of the latest updates on uh, the on the brackets and the bracket goings-ons. And speaking of brackets, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is tomorrow. Uh, oh, Yeah, uh, this nice. is at, what, where, where is it? It's that? a Dave & Buster's. Yeah, it's a Dave & Buster's in the Brooklyn location. It's the much better location. Yeah. Uh, come through. It's free entry. Uh, it's hosted by Wes. Uh, if you go to Linktree slash The Legendary Wes, it'll give you some information on that. It is literally tomorrow, uh, so come through. Yeah, always a fun time. And you know what's always a fun time? Xeno Weeklies, held every Wednesday right here in where else? Chinatown. Xeno Zero Gaming NYC. $15 total to enter. You can catch it right here live every Wednesday at twitch.tv slash house of 3000. Be sure to follow Devin over at uh, Twitter, unless you're over at Blue Sky. And of course, we do have Last Man Standing, Street Fighter VI's Swiss Bracket. When is the next one? This Sunday. So if we're, you're not going to Miami, you better be here. Yeah, we're also going to have uh, Mortal Kombat 1. And oh! uh, I don't have a slide for it, but the day before, because Last Man Standing is on a Sunday, uh, the day before is Mix Masters as well. Woo! So there's a weekend of Street Fighter VI. Uh, and Skullgirls. <laughs> well, Mixmasters well, Mix is, Masters Skullgirls. is Skullgirls. Uh, yes, <laughs> but I'm just saying, that, like, as far as Street Fighter 6 goes, you have literally all weekend uh, for it. And um, I'm working on trying to get the PCs available for all weekend, so that you know that'd be great. I, I can go harass video games New York uh, at some other time. Yeah. Don't worry, they'll, they'll give it to you one way or another. But, but uh, you know what? Yeah, go ahead. What if the weekend ends and you're like, I want to play more video games. I want to play some Smash Brothers. Well, every Monday night, we do have Bombs Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, the uh, grind-focused weekly. This is where you come to get in as many friendlies as you can and get those VODs reviewed because everything is go does go up on the quad stream and it gets uploaded individually to the YouTube channel. So come through, get your grind on, get get back on your BS, and get better at the game. Oh, we do also have Super uh, <laughs> Street Fighter Six this Monday because... Uh, is that still going on at Bombs? Yes, it's back. Wait, oh, is okay. this uh, Monday? No, no, not this Monday. Round yeah, the, 4 is the this following, Monday. Yeah, so the, the following. following Monday, be sure to be here as well for Street Fighter Six. You know, the, I know that a lot of people were like, we're Street Fighter Six. I don't want to play Guilty Gear Strive over a waypoint today. Being <laughs> like, well, come on down. We got you covered. But uh, as always, you know, I want you to give a shout out to the House of 3000. They are the best in the business for a reason. And you know why their name is House of 3000? What? Some, th some, uh, some things go up to 11, some go up to 12, <laughs> and these guys go up all the way to 3000. You will blow out your ears. Yeah, I was going to say, time. we destroy those speakers. That's right. You're going to get uh, smash level tinnitus. <laughs> But I think it's going to be it from us tonight. As always, support your locals, whether you're watching, attending, word of mouth. We love you all. Be safe. And check out Let's Make Moves Miami this weekend for some very fun times. But if not, be here for Mix Masters, Last Man Standing, and Bombs on Monday. Have a good night, night. everybody. We'll see you later. Peace.